today i'm going to show the transient analysis of a common source amplifier for that purpose i'm going to use a predefined set of question that is given in front of my screen you can see that we need to design a mosfet circuit where the q point is in the middle of the saturation region so the specification that are given is that your drain current needs to be 2 milliamperes where your r1 and r2 parallel would be 100 kilo ohms is the circuit that has been given to us as a common source circuit so some of the parameters i have actually calculated from the theoretical perspective so the values that were given is this and these are some of the values i have taken okay so the given values are this so sometimes we often face this problem that we have calculated the things in theoretical but we need we want to simulate the things we cannot because see that we don't have a mosfet that where we can edit these parameters right simulation like threshold voltage needs to be one the can prime is 80 microampere so on but you can actually do that in p spice let's try to see how we can do this today i'm going to test the theoretical and practical sort of practical like uh, similar model parameters will be entered and we'll see how the simulation turns out okay so in order to do that i'm going to use p spice version 17 so here is this pre spice version 17 you can see in front of me so what you need to do is i'm going to open a new project for this so i'm just opening a new project so it's a transient analysis so transient amplifier amp transient amplifier okay cs cs amplifier okay so i to choose the p spice analog or mixed ad i will press ok so create a blank project for this purpose i'm pressing ok so now this point should be getting in a white screen blank interface like this so let's try to draw this similar circuit here okay now for this purpose i'm going to use this part this part for mosfet i'm going to use m brick model m brick model is this one there are two choices i can take m brick n or m brick n3 so m brick n3 there will be like three terminals you can see this will make things easier for me so i'm just taking this one just clicking it click on it. so i've given an option to place it so let's place this thing one mosfet will be required for the purpose of sinusoidal input that is a small signal input I'm choosing v sign as source so let's just put it here now i will be needing the vdc source for my vdc supply it's like 12 volt most probably at this point i will be needing resistors so most probably tracers were there let's rotate it by pressing r so i think here was a drain resistor at this point there was a uh, R1 and uh, like R2 here at this point. And, oh, another resistor I want to take is at the R resistance. So taking some rough. So now take a capacitance by pressing C on the uh, search mode and press enter. We given an option to place the capacitor. So we know that put a capacitor at the input and we put a capacitor at the output. That's done here. At this point, let's zoom okay at this point give the various values that needs to be given other thing is missing that is the ground so i can click this one looking button at the side and then choose this one zero slash capsing press ok so i'll be given with the option to place it let's place this one right here okay that's where press w for wiring that's where this thing much straightforward wiring you can see so let's just connect this whole thing and um, let's simulate this thing so the output taken at the drain side source amplifier we all know basic connection you can see and my dc would be given at this point and the uh, ground be at this point let's, uh, the various values according to my stair taking the first of all i want to tell one thing that the capacitor value c1 and c2 i'll be choosing value to be 10 micro because if i take this to be 10 micro would be good enough for 0 to 2 kilohertz frequency 
sufficiently uh, this will produce a sufficiently small impedance that 0 to 2 and the frequency response will be good in micro I need to put the small amplitudes and frequency so I need to actually give all the values like V offset will be 0 no offset yes see you can give or not it's your wish let's say 0 0.01 but it won't make any ma uh, make anything change because uh, SE value is given on the SE sweep or SE analysis so the main thing here is the V amplitude that is 0 0.01 I'm taking this to be 10 millivolts and the frequency I'm choosing is 1k that is 1 kilohertz my DC value taking 2 volts as in the question my drain resistance is 2.5 kilo our resistance or load resistance I'm taking it to be 10 kilo ohms and my this I'm taking 498k because this 2 and R2 uh, this 2 R2 and R3 still needs to be paralleled to 100 so I'm taking these two values so the, uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, set up for the circuit now let's save this one this point let's uh, see where I want to see the voltages like at this point in other point I want to take is at this load the out uh, see another voltage at this point now let's save it set up the analysis mode so let's click on the p spice simulation profile a name that sim simulation whatever simul from none let's create it, it will be given an something like this i want to do the time domain transient analysis so i want to see this thing rather see that my frequency is one kilohertz so it should be good enough to see five can write i want to stop at five millisecond for much more higher precision i want to take the maximum step size to be 0 0.01 milli millisecond let's say let's press ok just if you take if you set the maximum step size to be very small then the simulation time will just increase oh i can see that my the markers have been missing so let's put it again and it may as dc voltage values voltage values so we we'll turn on the voltage of uh, voltage and currents for this one let's try to save this one point let's try to simulate this so let's just run this thing see what we get here this is my input the green one is the input whereas the red is my output and it is quite smooth you can see that the strip size we chose is a quite a good one right uh, see from 0 to 5 milliseconds but you see one thing the actual it's not the actual MOSFET we intended to implement see that the root be 25 there should be a lambda value where parameters then specify these parameters then again my drain current should be 2 milliamps right but whereas I'm finding that my drain current to this point is only 57.97 microamps, so it's not actually working like it used to be my section. So let's like to use parameters then. How to do that? So in PSPICE, we change the M break N according to your will. Just click on the M break N device and right on it. And there is a thing called Edit PSPICE model and have it on the earlier versions as well this one will be given like this the p spice editor so right in moss using one this is a generic MOS model so in order to incorporate your threshold voltage you need to write space vto it's not zero but o is equals to most probably it was one volt so yes it is one volt so let's just write let's use this thing right okay one and you can see there is a can prime so let me tell you one thing uh, the can prime thing okay the can prime we're talking about here the can prime we're talking about here is uh, something like this let's so you know that the can prime is actually mu and c aux right and in the 
P Spice model is model P Spice model the the scan prime KP is used for M uh, P MOS and N MOS both. Okay, so don't need to worry about that. So so there you see that it's prime but you write here kp okay so there is a discrepancy here so you should be very watchful about it okay now let's do this so my kp is equals to 80 micros so let's say it's uh, let's convert it into a milli so it's 0 0.08 milli so you can write also in the micro range no worries so the width let's take a width width to length ratio is 25 i have taken something this ratio it's your wish to take the ratio okay so see that i am i am actually using the micro values so you don't need to worry about the milli conversion of the milli okay so you can use the micro value as well so now let's talk about you have a lambda here so the lambda parameter is actually known as lambda and the value is 0 0.015 okay <coughs> so in this let's just save this thing so we have saved this thing and it is saved in the tron underscore cs underscore m dot lib okay so the various values are saved and there is an error if you write uh, any uh, that is not present in the model then it will show an error so you don't need to worry about it so let's try to simulate now so see let's try to save this thing and let's see the my drain current was 57.97 microampere simulate with our defined model to so simulate this thing my gain has increased significantly right in the simulation we have seen that my output was than the input but now I can see that my output is quite larger than the input so this indication good indication and the second indication is see that my drain current is increased significantly it is 2.177 milliampere but my theory says it should be 2 milliampere but it's quite close you can actually tweak the values of width to length to in order to match the values properly you can tweak the values of widths and length but I have uh, chosen the widths and length to be actually uh, the ratio that matches 25 okay uh, this is uh, negative as should be in the case of common source you can see that it's an end the voltage the input voltage is a positive one and the output is a 180 degree phase shifted you can see that and whereas the input was only 10 millivolt you get an output amplitude nearly around 60 millivolt nearly around 60 millivolt so uh, in order to properly identify uh, uh, look the value the thing called uh, e, uh, here are some of the trace uh, marker cursor what are the things there are you can see and uh, you can actually check the highest value here okay so this is one way to do that so uh, my uh, my gain is actually then uh, output amplitude let's say for simplicity my output amplitude is around 60 millivolt and my input amplitude is 10 millivolt so 60 by 10 is uh, 6 the gain is 6 okay but my calculated gain theoretical gain is minus 6.5 whereas my simulation gain I can see that simulation gain is minus six so there is a bit of discrepancy you can see that so in this way you can simulate and you can also add various uh, traces okay. you can actually also uh, calculate other uh, values using this uh, window there are lots of other options you can see okay you can do some measurements also Thanks for watching this uh, video. Problem, please let me know by commenting in the section.